hello students how are you all i hope all of you are fine and um, welcome back to your next english class this is your nopo ma'am and uh, i was taking your uh, last day class uh, that was on grammar preposition prepo right you can see the page and uh, if you have already seen the video you can understand last day i have discussed about the uh, what is a preposition definition and um, i have told of there are five kinds of prepositions and uh, i have given you the definitions of three kinds of prepositions already simple preposition double preposition compound prepositions right and uh, i have given you the examples on also okay so today i will tell you about uh, two more prepositions okay i told there are five prepositions so today i will discuss about participle prepositions you can see the video i hope you can see the page see participle prepositions what is participle preposition have endings such as ed and ing some prepositions which are ending with uh, ed and ing there are two types of participles present participle past participle present participle whenever you are putting ing form with a main verb uh, with a present form of main verb that is present participle and the past participle means the third form of the main verb okay so examples are like considering see the word is consider you are uh, putting ing considering this is a preposition during preposition concerning word is concern and ing at you are adding ing so concerning provided word is provide this is the third form of provide provided okay here the examples as he is interested in anything concerning horses the principal was asking questions regarding her behavior so regarding so these are the participle prepositions here you can see and uh, next one more prepositions these are very um, used but it's very less used okay and uh, phrase prepositions or prepositional phrases phrase prepositions what include a preposition an object and the objects modifier like on time at home before class on the floor see include a preposition it is including a preposition on suppose on hmm? an object and the objects modifier like uh, there should be time there should be a place there should be uh, anything else okay objects modifier see here the objects are with preposition on time at home before class on the floor so i will get to the conference on time you can see here with preposition objects are using and this is these are called phrase prepositions so what was participle prepositions you can see the examples also and phrase prepositions right so these are some examples i have made for you you have to identify the prepositions from this sentences the city was destroyed by an earthquake you can see you can understand what is preposition here here by is a preposition see by is a preposition why it is a by is a preposition because see the city was destroyed by an earthquake by this word is sitting before the noun and it is modifying the noun just sitting before the noun and it is modifying the noun and uh, this is making a link up between the noun and uh this uh, this line of the sentence okay i wrote down his speech word for word what is preposition here you have to understand okay then 
this landscape in painted from nature what is preparation you have to understand blue does not go with green we can see things under water he works hard in the hope of standing first okay so there are six sentences this is your practice work you have to identify the preposition today first practice work is that you have to identify the preposition today and uh, you can pause the video and you can take a picture of this uh, page and uh, please write the answers in your comment box and send it to me if you can't send in youtube then you have to spare send it bossa map okay so you can do it and one more thing i will tell you today this is uh, the uses of preposition there are some prepositions uh, which are showing or indicating time last day i told you that i will tell you the uses of uh, prepositions one by one how you can understand there should be what which preposition there should be which preposition you have to understand by the meaning okay so i have added some you can see like i hope so some prepositions are showing or indicating time mainly like at on in during by for these prepositions are using to indicate time okay these are mainly used to indicate the time see first at at is used for a point in time definite time whenever you are telling a definite time or a point of time there you can use at see we shall meet at 6 o'clock see here is a definite time particular time so we shall meet at 6 o'clock he came at midnight he came at midnight so when he came at midnight it is indicating the time right similarly maybe there is some particular time or there is some this kind of that midnight or at dawn at sunset at the end at the beginning etc okay and uh, another time you can use at it is used before festivals also whenever you are mentioning some festival then also you can uh, use at see we have a holiday at diwali diwali is a holiday's name festival's name not holiday's name it is a festival so we have a holiday at diwali so similarly you can tell at holi at christmas at new year these are the festivals at durga puja okay so these are the festivals so before particular time before a point for a timing you can put at suppose you are indicating festival you can put at just before the name of that festival and just before the time of that particular time okay this is the uses of at i hope you can understand by uh, this uses you will get uh, that kind of question fill in the blanks with the proper prepositions or choose a proper preposition from the bracket just like this next on when you will put on it is used for particular day whenever are telling particular day whether it is date suppose you are telling monday suppose you are telling uh, suppose 5th june it is a particular date right a day is it is used for particular part of such days as described above already you have described above a part of such days such important days at that time also you can use on so when you can use on particular day particular date and a particular part of such days as described above suppose already you have described for it that is the most important part of that day some days some important days okay like i will come on the night 
on 10th July. See, I will come on the night on 10th July. So, on 10th July it is a particular date and timing also on night on 10th July. Okay, next we will meet on Friday afternoon. Here you can see a particular date right so we will meet on friday afternoon so you can understand when you will use at and when you will use on so you can i hope you can see the pages you can pause your video and you can write it similarly you can do it okay so these are the main notes you have to write down in your copies okay and uh, next such a part in whenever you will use in it is used before a period of time in the winter in july in the year of 2005 means whenever not only you are telling a time but there should be a duration of time a period a long period of time okay in the morning in the evening evening means you you, you are not telling a particular time in the evening evening is a vast morning is vast Okay, in July is a vast, means it is one month, winter, it is also vast. Suppose I first met him in 2005. Cricket is played in India in winter. So whenever you will put in, whenever you are showing a time of period, a duration, a long time, there you will put in. Okay, during, when you put uh, during, when an action or a situation continues for some time. Whenever an action is started and that is continue, that is continuous going for some time. During is used before that specified period. So suppose there is a specified period. Suppose some work uh, has been started and it is continuously going for some time. You know, okay, you know already that it should be. So there you will give during, see. We enjoyed ourselves during the vacation. So you see, during is used before that specified period. You know the specified specific, specified time that vacation. There you will get a vacation, and you will enjoy that. So we enjoyed ourselves during the vacation. You can understand little bit difference between in and that. In is a particular. Uh, not particular it's a period of time okay it's a long duration of time and there you don't know the vacation you don't know the timing how much it will be but you know here the timing and how much how much how many days it will continue okay little bit difference between in and during when you will put during i hope you have understood if you can't understand then definitely ask me again i will tell you Next, by. Sometimes you can use by also. It is used to denote the ultimate point by which something was or is to be completed. It is to, used for why? To denoting. To denote you know, the ultimate point by which something was or is to be completed. Something already completed. Something is to be completed. Then you can use by. See, I have to complete work by Monday. There is you. There you know there is a certain time and that you have to complete. Okay, so that there is an ultimate point of time. There is an ultimate time, final time. Then you can use by. Okay. I hope you have to understand. I have to complete work by Monday. You already know the certain time, the ultimate point of your work. The till Monday you have to complete it. Next, for sometimes you can use for for showing a time, for indicating a time. For is used before a time phrase to denote that uh, that. Uh, so much time has passed during which an action or situation continue already you have passed too much time for any certain work see i have not seen him for two years so for two years you didn't see him 
so you can understand that um, already a long period of time so here it is you know uh, for is used before a time of course for is used before a time phrase to denote that so much time has passed too much time has passed for this job for this for this work which an action or situation continued and that action was continuing for a long time okay so i hope you have understand when you will use for so there are all uses of timing which prepositions you can use for timing okay there are so many other prepositions i will show the uses of those prepositions also you can pause your video and uh, you can take a picture or you can write down in your paper in your copy okay this will help you and there are so many other prepositions also and i will show you the uses of those prepositions of course on the next video so uh, till then just note this uh, works in your copy and uh, read the uses of uh, prepositions properly and uh, this practice work is for you so do it okay and send it to the comment box if you have any problem to understand this is earthquake okay this is a e a so if you have any problem definitely ask me i will give you the answers i will give you the reply okay so have a nice day and uh, enjoy my video and thank you and wait for the next video okay till then bye bye